Yes, I... I think I care about you, and... That's why, that's why I, I'm mad and confused. And that's why I want you to wake up and smell the coffee and stop acting like a bimbo. Bimbo? I am not a bimbo, you, you... You, 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 go ahead, you, you take you, your you best shot. You sanctimonious, chauvinistic, pompous jerk. You care about me. Sort of. Don't mess with my head, Jake. Did you mean it or not? Yes, I meant. Unfortunately, every word. So, um, <clears throat> when did you start caring about me? Oh, would you stop with all the girly stuff, okay? I mean, I, I'm a good guy. I'd probably push Henry out of the way of a speeding train. Oh, I get it. You don't really care about me in particular. You just care about human beings in general, right? Well, I could see that you were in over your head, and I'd... Over my I head? Try to help you out. I was absolutely fine until you lumbered in here like Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone? Yeah, well, if the orange fuzzy suit fits, where? What are you talking about? I, I, are you kidding me? Maybe you were in the same room, but I thundered in. Oh, thundered. Hot, what do you? Buddy. I thundered in here like, like Arnold Schwarzenegger and the guy that he plays in the movies. Terminator? No, I'm talking about before that, when he was wearing the loincloth. Conan the Barbarian? That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. I thundered in here like Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, and you... 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 You are the most you, irritating, you, man. You are naive. That's why you need me looking I'm out for you. Naive. That's right, so you make sure to out for me. do something stupid. Oh, stupid. If I didn't care about That's you as naive. much as I do, I, I, I wouldn't be so hard on you. Number. What are you talking about? I mean, I'm going to sit back and make, just watch you make some idiotic move. Strike three if you're out. No, I, listen, all right. yeah. okay, all right, Molly, look, 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 I'm, I'm talking from experience oh. because I, I've been an idiot. Yeah, well, I'll say that again. So I, I, I recognize the signs. I don't want you to fall into the same kind of revenge trap. Well, I'm already feeling pretty darn vengeful toward you. Well, that's better than letting this vendetta against Henry and, 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 and Katie take over your life. Believe me, you're headed, you're headed for a major fall here. Well, you know, it's too late because I've already been there and done that. That's what I'm talking about. See? That's what I'm talking about. The last time you took a fall, you wound up in a coma. So, Conan, to the rescue... Smash and grab. That's what it was supposed to be. You were supposed to get yourself a job at W.O.A.K., find out where Katie hid the incriminating evidence, put some truth serum in Henry Wigglesworth's tea, and then and you were supposed to be gone. But instead, it's turned into, 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 this, into this... Quest? Yes. Katie's got me worried, all right? She's moving on to greener pastures. <laughs> what, network? No. Wedding ring. She's got everything she wants from my life, and now she's going after Lily's. Well, how's she playing that? From every angle she can, she wants Holden, and she's not going to stop till she gets him. And if she gets what she wants, then Abigail suffers yet again. You know something? I got to tell you, there's a better way to protect your daughter than faking like you have amnesia and trying to topple a TV news crew. Okay, okay, Mr. Smart Man, if you if you know some better way to stop Katie, bring it on. The truth. Why don't you try that? Be honest about what you what you know and what you found out. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's also the dumbest thing that I've ever heard. Oh, come on, Molly. It could work. I have never gotten anywhere in my life by being honest. How far have you gotten in your life, exactly? Honesty is the best policy? Yeah, right. Maybe for some people. But for me, it's always been the kiss of death. You see, I underestimated Katie Peretti once. And I almost lost everything in the process. So no matter how stupid or idiotic you think I am, I am not about to accuse her of anything without proof. And I'm going to get proof, whatever it takes. How do you like them apples? Whoa. This turns me on when you talk about kicking Peretti's posterior. I enjoy it. You do? I am sorry that I called you a bimbo. And? I take back stupid and idiotic. But? Just, no. But? Except. See, I knew it. What? It's just a revenge plot. You what know? about maybe it? Just, maybe you should put it off for a while. Let, let everything cool down. Oh, I see. Throw them off the scent is what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, and you know what you could do? You could let some people in on the fact that you got your memory back. Who? Abigail. Mm -hmm. I, 
I just, I don't think that we're ready for that. Are you kidding me? Abigail has forgiven you, Molly. She's forgiven you. I mean, everything's square, eh? You made Katie squirm. Why not, why not start living for the future? Make, make room for something else in your life besides all these dastardly deeds. Why are you so concerned? Maybe I'm just being a sweet guy. Mm -hmm. Make room in my life. Look to the future. So, uh, what am I clearing my calendar for, McKinnon? You? So that's why you want me swimming in free time. So you always have a potential dinner date. Huh. How'd you come up with that? Oh, maybe because you called last night and asked me to dinner. Oh, because that was just a one-time thing? You said that you have fun with me, Jake. Well, yeah. Yeah, I do. I have fun with you and lots of other people. Oh, I see. Do, the, do those lots of other people enjoy being called bimbo? Well, a lot of other people aren't running around faking like they got amnesia. Well, you know what? Sometimes I wish it were real so I forget that I know people like you. I... What was that? Hi! Hi. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to talk to Molly. Oh, really? You know something? She's all yours. Molly, do you remember Brian's? Sure. Well, I, I should be going to... So, these pool games are a little secret. Hmm. Uh, I really don't have a good track record when it comes to secrets and my folks. Uh, can't really promise anything. Whatever you decide is, is fine. Okay. What was that all about? I just had one of the best days of my life. So, tell me everything that happened with Brian today. My life has completely changed. Bright told me he thinks of me as a girlfriend, not just a friend. That is really sweet. And he kissed me. Oh. oh he's so sweet. He's so romantic. <sighs> I never thought that I'd feel this way. I... It's okay. Abigail, I know exactly what you're talking about. I knew you'd understand. That's why I came all the way over here, because you're like a mom and a girlfriend all rolled into one package. I'm just really glad that you wanted to share it with me. I never thought that I could date like this after having a broken heart. Broken heart is painful, but it mends. And then another guy comes into your life and sweeps you off your feet, and you forget about all the pain. So how did it happen? Hmm? What, what happened? Well, I mean, what did he say? What did he do? Oh. How did he lead into the kiss? And uh, how did he make you know that you were the one, huh? Well, there was this guy who was hassling me, and Brian jumped in and rescued me. He stood up for me. Well, I would say he sounds like a keeper then. Because I think it's really rare to find a guy that always wants to look out for you. 